Right. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is good. Yes. All, the all the time. All the time. And all the time, God, God is, is good. good. Amen. Yes. So happy Sunday morning to you. Welcome, everybody. Feliz Domingo por la Mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. <laughs> Hallelujah. Welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all those of you joining us by audio and video. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. He's got something for you. I remind you, I re I, I remind you of this all the time. God's got something for me. You know what? Amen. I ain't going to let go till he blesses me. Amen. Yes. So praise God. And he wants to bless you. Amen. He's a, he wants to bless you all the time. Amen. Yes. So. I'm going to go. I don't know about you. So get get yourself ready. Grab your Bibles. Amen. Amen. Grab your Bibles. Amen. And uh, make this declaration with me. Amen. This is my, this is my Bible. Bible. I am what it says I am. I, am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking with God. I'm bold to bed. My mind is alert. My spirit is accepted. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You don't want to be the same. You change Amen. all the time. Amen. Praise, praise God. God. God is in the change. God is yes, good. Is. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Thank you, Lord. We're going to be talking today about waiting on Him. Oh, boy. Waiting on Him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> praise God. But listen to me, okay? The Bible says, waiting on Him. Yes. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. Yes. Here we go. Couple of translations I have for you. Isaiah 40 and 31. King James says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall yes. renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Uh -huh. They shall run and not be weary. Not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Amen. 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 Yeah. The New Living Translation says, But those who trust, we gotta have trust and we gotta have faith yeah. in him. Amen. Trust in him or trust in the Lord with fine new strength. Uh -huh. They will soar. High on wings as eagles, yes. Isaiah 40 and 30. You can write so many scriptures down. They will run and not be weary. Yes. Amen. Hebrews 12, 1. You can add two, one and two. They will Amen. walk and not faint. Not faint. Psalms 23 and 4. Yes. Amen. Or you could just, Psalms 23, the whole psalm is, is Amen. great. Amen. But this, these are good. Amen. That's going to be yes. our text. The uh, Amplified, go, go, go to the next one. The Amplified says this, but those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look uh -huh. for, and hope in Him, uh -huh. have faith in Him, amen, mm -hmm. will gain new strength. Yes. We need strength all yes. the time, amen. daily, amen, constantly, and renew their power. You want yes. some power? <laughs> Get in Him. Amen. He says, they will be lifted up with wings amen. and rise up close to God. Like uh -huh. like eagles rising towards the sun, they will run and not be weary. They will walk and not grow tired. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. The next one gives you a picture, and there's the eagle, one of my favorite birds. I got a collection of uh, eagles. Amen. Uh -huh. If you want to bless pastor sometime, no, no send me an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> eagle, send me an eagle. I love eagles. <laughs> there you go, Isaiah 40 and 30. Mark that down and, and go and read it for yourself. Amen. Amen. Psalm 23 and 2 says. He makes us lie down in green pastures. He, well, you know what? Let's read the whole thing. Just open your Bibles to Psalms 23. And that's what we use. Those of you watching, those of you listening, we use the Word of God. The Bible. You know what Bible stands for? Yeah. Basic instruction before leaving earth. A lot of us need some basic instruction on a daily basis. Not just once in a while. Open your Bible and read it. Amen. Praise God. And let that little lie of shine in you <laughs> don't let the fire go out That's you know it. keep that fire going all the time stay connected this is your source this is your power you got a power you got to you need spiritual power on a daily basis because we fight spiritual forces we don't fight one another man we can tear each other up but we fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis right. we got we the battlefield is the mind yes, it is. and you need the word of god to overcome yes. all this yeah if you don't you're losing a battle. Amen. Amen. So let's remember this. If you want to grow, you want to mature in the yeah. things of God, open the Bible and read the Word. Amen. 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 That's the only way you're going to grow in, in this uh, spiritually. 
and he wants us to. We're not going. We don't want to stay. Uh, we don't want to be spiritual babies all our life. That's it. And we don't want to be defeated Christians. That's you know it. what a defeated Christian is? Uh -huh. You know the word, and you don't speak it out. You uh -huh. got to confess it. You got to say it, because the Bible says the word of God says He spoke the word, and it went and accomplished what I sent it uh -huh. to do. And it'll do it. But you have to speak it out. You got to say it and say it with confidence and expect. Amen. So. Psalms 23 says what? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth yes. over we got to do that continually. You know what? You want to give. When you stay filled, you're running over. Yes. And you want to give from that. But yeah. you know what? If you're empty, you ain't got nothing to give. That's it. Amen. So That's what's the so problem? True. The problem is you let yourself run dry. Uh -huh. You let yourself run empty. So mm -hmm. get another drink. Drink. Yeah. Drink. <laughs> drink. Remember when we was out there drinking and drinking and drinking? We got crazy. We didn't know when to stop. Yeah. Well, drink the word. Amen. Get the word Amen. in you and stay over. You might, the Bible says when you when you feel, he says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. That word is alive. His yes, word is alive. Yes. Amen. Yes. And says, surely goodness and mercy shall mercy. follow yeah. me uh -huh. all the days of my life. And I, will, I, I, I will dwell in the house of the Lord yes. forever. Where it says me, I, and all these things, mm -hmm. just scratch and put your name in. Yes. I'm confessing this for myself. Yeah. I'm receiving this for myself. I'm personalizing my Bible for me. Mm -hmm. You know, if you got a Bible and don't want to uh, scratch it or, or write on it or get highlight it or anything, like that, get rid of it. Get, you know, or give it away. You know, you we say, well, you know, I'm, I plan on giving it to somebody. <laughs> we'll get you one that you can just write it up. Yes. And make it for yourself. Yes. Amen. Amen. Then you can give it to somebody. And say, you see all this? Just follow along that. Amen. Yep. So, hallelujah. Psalms 23. Amen. Psalms 24 and, and 14. Keep going. We we have some, and they might not, not be in order. But Psalms 24, uh, 27, 14 says, "Wait faithfully, wait faith in faith and patience on the Lord." Be of good courage, and uh -huh. he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Yes. That's the New King James. The, the Living Translation says, wait patiently. Uh -huh. Some of us need to wait patiently. Yeah. Some of us need to grow from this. Some of us mm -hmm. need to know from this. Yes. You know, when you go fish, <laughs> when you go fishing, uh -huh. you got to wait patiently. Yeah. I, want, I got to wait expecting that I'm going to catch something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You mean? I mean, I'm going to have a good time, yeah. but I'm expecting to catch something. So you got to be patient. If you're going, I've been with people that were not patient when they went fishing. They, no, threw, boy, they didn't even know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. In the Old Testament, Old Testament is more about waiting uh, for the Lord's providing care. But in the New Testament, it relates to Christ's second coming. Yes. In all cases, it's about waiting patiently, waiting expectantly, uh -huh. with hope and trust. Amen. Being able to wait and trust in God's timing, character, and goodness Amen. is His timing. Okay, I prayed about it. Now I gotta wait patiently, expectantly, and in faith, believing that He's going to answer your prayer yes. or meet your situation. Amen. at his time and he knows what's best yes. you just gotta speak it out uh -huh. and then release it and leave it there amen mm -hmm. hallelujah Lord. yeah for somebody Praise I know somebody you, you know um, I, I, I got so excited I forgot my little nugget I have for you <laughs> Me, right. listen to this it's a nugget it's a, uh, what do I call it a spiritual nugget uh -huh. many people including believers whatever you call yourself believer Christian born again many people really people christians believers preach the gospel gossip of the world no. oh we're talking about believers we hear it and we say it oh man that sounds good i'm going to use it and go in and share it with somebody 
preach the gospel of the world instead of the gospel, the good news uh -huh. of Jesus Christ. Oh my. Amen. And we don't mind mingling with the people and sharing with the world. And when it comes time to say, the Lord says, uh, say something. Uh huh. And we're quiet. Mm. Why? Come on now. But we, we can spread the gossip, but we can't, we can't spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, that's sad. Come on now. <laughs> Uh, Lord, that was for me. Mm -hmm. I receive it. I, I, I'm gonna change. Yeah. We need to. We need to grab it. You know who you are. <laughs> As a child of God, we need to do this. When it's time to spread the gospel, we need to spread the gospel. The gospel wow. is the good news. Yes. Man, you know what? There's what's out there. Nothing but bad news. Mm -hmm. You turn every TV and radio, whatever communication you've got, and all there is is bad news. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to turn you on, child of God. And the good news is going to come out. Yes. They need to hear good news. Yes. Yes. Everybody's tired of bad news. Oh, yeah. Amen. Praise God. Yes. I, I don't keep up with that stuff. Amen. Anyway. Mm. Life is warfare and not fun wear. <laughs> <laughs> and not fun time. <laughs> yeah. But the warfare will not last. Our sins and our pardon and love through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. God's mercy was exercised. Yes. Listen to this. We've heard of grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. Well, grace is getting what you don't deserve. Uh -huh. Mercy is not getting what you deserve. Mm -hmm. You got to get those right. right exactly. Grace is getting what you don't deserve. And mercy is getting what you deserve. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise uh -huh. God. Yeah. So I just wanted to read this to you, a quick nugget says Psalms 40 and 31 is talking about God exhortation verse in the Bible it promises strength for the exhausted you ever find yourself that way yeah mm -hmm. come on not just me God knows as humans we take matters into our own hands mm -hmm. and we follow our human strategies which tend to fail or disappoint us uh -huh. mm -hmm. Amen. and here he is called to an exhortation to wait upon the Lord and have faith in him and we will be victorious. Mm -hmm. We win. When you wait patiently, we waiting upon the Lord. Waiting is seen as a difficult task mm -hmm. or for more people, most people during their challenging times. Mm -hmm. Waiting is a difficult task. I and I'm waiting. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm anxious, Lord. Yeah. You Amen. see, God is too slow. He doesn't care about me. <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't ask us to wait. Waiting in this context means mm -hmm. to trust and have faith in God despite yeah. the situation yeah. the circumstances you are facing having confidence in God is whatever you have said in his word concerning you or your yeah. challenging uh -huh. he will yeah. surely bring it to pass because yeah. we have confidence we know what the word of God says we brought it to him we gave it to him he says cast he says, yes. give all your cares because I care for yeah. you. But we're holding on to him. No, give it to him. Let it go. And he will bring all this situation to pass. Right. Whatever your situation may be, different than mine. Mm -hmm. Still, he's concerned. Big yes. or small, it doesn't matter. He's yeah, concerned. Yeah. God is our way maker. Yes, God is. is our promise keeper. Mm -hmm. He is our light in darkness. Weeping may endure for a night. And joy or happiness will come in the morning. Yeah, yeah. It will change. Things will change. Amen. Mm -hmm. He promised that those who trust or have faith in him will not be overwhelmed by the storms of life. Yes. But rather, he says, he will lift up their heads and they will be victorious. Right. We want to rise up. As the, as the scripture says, the verse says, we want to soar up. Go up, yes. amen. As wing as eagles, amen. So, praise yeah. God. God is with us in all aspects, yes, and know the situation of life. Hebrews uh, 13 and 5 says, He is always with us, He never yeah. leaves us, nor forsakes us. Yeah, you, know, you walk up to me and you say, You're lonely, that means something's wrong, something's wrong with the relationship here. Mm -hmm. Because with God, heaven, God, mm -hmm. we should never be lonely. That's it. Amen. Because he's always with us. Just yeah. take it to him. Give it to him. He's yeah. there. He wants to have a relationship. He wants to communicate with us. Yes. Amen. So we need to communicate with him. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. That's and it. he wants us to trust in every uh, phase. Yeah. Is because he is willing. Uh, he will be. He will bring us out 
of whatever situation. Yes, he will yes. bring us through his yes, with his yes. unlimited power. Yes. Remember, we sang this song. <coughs> we sing this song all the time. He's got on the map on the mountain where yeah. things are going so great yeah. <laughs> and he's got in the valley yeah. you know where things are not going so great mm -hmm. but you know what he says I'll never leave you mm -hmm. no for thank you not like us walking away from him yeah if you catch yourself doing that it's time to come home and some of you listening mm -hmm. it's time for some of you to come home amen yeah. praise God come on now if you don't if you don't get it I'll catch it for me it's for me <laughs> <laughs> it's my so praise God, let's continue. It's not about us making uh, making us wait just to see how long we can wait. You know, hey, I'm going to make them wait. Somebody asked you for something. I've got it, but I'm going to hold on. You know, I'm just going to have them suffer some. Oh, God. That's not our God. Mm -hmm. If he's not giving it to you now because he knows the circumstance. Mm -hmm. And he knows if he gives it to you now what the situation is going to be. He'll give it to you at the right time. Amen. Waiting on God demands two key things. A complete dependency on Him and willing to allow Him to decide the terms, including the timing of His plan. Yes. Don't try to figure it all up, you know. Some of us don't want to get off the throne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us don't want to let go of control. Uh -huh. We want to give it to Him by being in control. Uh -huh. No. Get off the throne and put him there. Yes. Seek him first. Amen. Amen. Put him first. Seek him first. Mm -hmm. uh, James 1 and 3 says this. says, patience is a product of faith. You know, he said we walk by faith and not by sight. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. If you're building up your, if you're getting in the word and reading the word and building on the word, you're increasing your faith. Yes. Amen. The more faith you have, the more patience you'll have. Yes. Amen. If you're not walking in, in in faith, you're walking in fear. Right. That's not what the Bible wants yep. us to do. He said, "Step out in faith." Hey, it. God has given me a task. He's given me a mission, but I'm going to do it in faith. I'm going to step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Man, Ooh, come on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When we is in the world, we just hey, it's time to go. Let's do it, man. Hit hit the door, man. Not even thinking what we're doing and where we're going and what's going to happen. We're just going to have a great time. Mm. Bible says step out in faith. Amen. Step out in faith. James 1, 2, and 3 in the New, the new uh, Century Flint, uh, Version says, My brothers and sisters, when you have many kinds of trouble, you should be full of joy. Amen. Why? Because you know that these troubles test your faith. Amen. And this will bring, give you uh, patience. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. Whew. Praise God. Amen. We must learn to wait upon the Lord. Yes. I've told you this story and I'm telling it to you again. When you get up here, you'll say, give me your mercy. <laughs> the little boy was fishing. <laughs> and uh, this old man, jolly old man, happy old man, he just walked by him and checked on him and says, are you fishing? And he was joyful and just checking on him and, and saying a kind word. Are you fishing? And the little guy, he just says, you know, he's not catching anything. So he just says, look, I'm just drowning worms. <laughs> you know, you put a worm on your, on your hook and you cast it out. He said, no, I'm, I'm drowning worms. He says, get away from me. Go, go away. And that's what we do some people sometimes. Yeah. When you have a relationship, you know how to act and what to do. Amen. Amen. And you will have those attitudes. Ooh, come on now. <laughs> Two things. It says when you go fishing, you gotta have patience and you and you wait expectantly for those uh with hope and faith that you're gonna catch something. And when you have God in you, even if I don't catch, I'm gonna have a great time because I can spend time with him. Amen. Amen. But you know what? The boy, he had a bad attitude, he had a negative attitude. The man, he had a positive attitude. And that's what we need to do when we go into the world. You know, I go into the world, I'm going to build myself out before I go out there. You know why? Because there's ugly people out there. There's unkind people out there. There's rude people. There's yes. mean yes. people out there. Right. And we already know this. And the only way to overcome this is getting full of God and getting full of the Word so you can be nice. You know, you can't minister to people with a rotten attitude. Amen. <laughs> 
And you're going to, you're not going to attract anybody with a rotten attitude. Correct. Amen. But when you're in the right attitude, when your attitude is right, you know, you can deliver what God wants you to say. You can give and pass out what God wants you to do. Amen. And be a witness, a cheerful, nice, kind witness for God. Amen. Say something nice. I don't want to be nice to them. They were ugly to me. So I'm just going to be ugly to them. Well, that's not ministering. That's not being God-like or Christ-like. Amen. He says, be imitators of Christ. Yes. He, Christ is love. Christ is, is compassion. And we must do the same thing. We must have love and compassion. Yeah. And we got to put the flesh down. Yeah. We got to feed ourselves the Word of God. We got to renew our minds with the Word of God so we can get ourselves, our flesh right. Because our flesh wants to do what they do. Yeah. I hope they, this is what they did. I, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay, they, they're ugly, so I'm going to be ugly. No. <laughs> Listen, attitude is key here on our daily lives. Positive or negative is your choice. You choose. Amen. People know you. Is your attitude worth catching? <laughs> attitude is contagious. Yeah. So is yours worth catching? Mm. Attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere until you change it. Amen. I'm not going out the door until I change my attitude. Amen. I'm going to put a smile on my face. I'm going to put a pep on my step. And I'm going to step out of faith. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Attitude determines your altitude. We want to soar up and not scratch with the chickens. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be there. That's the negative thing. Some of us are champion of that, you know. And we, we need to change that. You know, we're waiting for God to change that. No, we got to change that. We got to do something. Amen. He's already fulfilled his mission. God sent Jesus. Jesus fulfilled his mission. Now it's us to be imitators of what he did. And yeah. do what he did and, and fulfill whatever mission he's given you to yeah. do. And if you're here on earth, you have a calling. Yeah. You've accepted Christ, you've accepted Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Now you have a mission to fulfill. Whatever it may be, you need to call home and talk yeah. with him and find out what it is that he wants you to do. Yes. And one of them is be a minister of reconciliation. Yeah. Be an ambassador. Mm -hmm. Be his mouthpiece on earth. What are you gonna Speak out. Watch your words. Watch your actions. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but we gotta watch what we say. We yeah, gotta yeah, got yeah. watch what we do because people are watching. You know, I see this in you, and it draws people. Yes, it's contagious. It'll catch. We must choose to start every day with a good, positive attitude. Believe you say, I can't do that. The Bible says, if you're a child of God, the Bible says you can do all things all through things. Christ. All Not some things, all things. All things. Mm -hmm. You got to put the flesh down. Yes, Amen. It. Flesh just wants to rise up all yes, the time. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Have an attitude of gratitude. Ephesians 5 and 20 says, mm -hmm. giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, yes. Amen. So have an attitude of gratitude. You know Amen. what? Let's open our Bibles again. And we say we, we read it all the time, but let's read it again. Open your Bibles to Psalms 100. And oh, if, you don't, if you ain't never read this, you, you need to read this on a daily basis. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. Are you there? Yes. Some of us really need to practice it. <laughs> <clears throat> and if I'm a different translation you can read into that you can yes. understand. But it says this. Psalms 100 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye ladies. Yes. Serve the Lord with Glad sadness. Glad oh, gladness. <laughs> Some of us forget that. <laughs> Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. singing. Uh -huh. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is not he that has made us, but uh, we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. praise. Be thankful unto him and uh -huh. bless his name. For the Lord is good. 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 His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all, all generations. generations. This is awesome. Yeah. You know, the Bible is just good. You just got to read it. Yes. <laughs> you just got to get it in you. 
So you can speak it out. If you can't get it in you, it ain't gonna come out. Why? That's because it. there's nothing there to come out. That's it. But you gotta get it in you. Yes. He says you can do all things through all Christ. Things. Amen. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Makes me happy. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Oh, makes me cheerful. A winning, have a winning attitude. You know how you have a winning attitude on a daily basis? Is Matthew six thirty three? Yeah. Matthew six thirty three. Well, <laughs> let's go there. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. You know, I uh, I remember when I was young. I had a winning attitude. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes. Oh my. To be at the cross, stretched out. Yeah. In front of all people, naked. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and and going to the Father and saying, "Forgive them. Mm -hmm. They know not what they do." Mm -hmm. Still, two others robbers crucified next to him. One of them's mocking him. If you're really the son of God, mm -hmm. you know, save us. Mm -hmm. Take us down, whatever he said. Mm -hmm. The other one recognized mm -hmm. he is the son of God. Yes, yes. And he says, he received them mm -hmm. and says, today you'll be with me mm -hmm. in paradise. Yes, amen. So you never know. One mocking him, the other one receiving him, accepting yes. him. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Lord, His amen. choice, you had a choice. Both of them had the same choice. Yeah. One of them cho chose the right thing. Mm -hmm. One of them chose the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Is your life in the middle of a uh, disorder? Mm -hmm. Confusion? Mm -hmm. Turmoil? Mm -hmm. The ways of temptation are about to drown you, sink you, take you down. Look up and put your trust in God. Amen. This is the moment. Mm -hmm. He is really putting your faith to the test. Will you pass or will you fail? Mm -hmm. With him you pass. Without him you fail. Mm -hmm. Your trust is built in him. Mm -hmm. Your relationship with God will rely and show mm -hmm. your roots. Uh -huh. yeah. Are you grounded on him? Mm -hmm. Have you been feeding on him? Mm -hmm. When the storms come, you know, mm -hmm. your, 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 your roots are deep down yeah. in him. You're not going to be moved. Mm -hmm. But if it's on the sand, if you haven't been studying, mm -hmm. if you just let him go by the wayside, guess what? Mm -hmm. You're going to fall. Yep. Yeah. And it's not up to him. It's up to us. Yeah. we got to make that choice. Yeah. you got to wait on the Lord is to stop all activities, mm -hmm. physical and mental. Yeah. You know, we get so busy. Mm -hmm. Remember last week we talked about Mary and Martha. Mary, I mean Martha says, man, we got so many things to do. The master's here, and we got so many things to do. Mm -hmm. She was, she knew the master was there, and the master came to my house, and I'm so busy I can't even spend time with him. Mary says, "No, <laughs> serve the master first mm -hmm. and came to the master mm -hmm. and served him." Yes. Yeah. She says she's chosen the right thing to do. Yeah. Martha came to the master and says, "Don't you care? I'm so busy. You know, have her help me. I need help." He said, "Martha, Martha, Martha." He chosen the wrong thing. She chose the right thing. Yeah. That's Jose. <laughs> Focus your attention on him. Quiet yourself. Cast all things on him because he cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. Go there, mark it, highlight it, and learn this. And it tells us uh, to cast all things upon him. Yeah, yeah. Other translation says, give it to him. He, he asks that you give it to him. But we're still holding on to it because the control, <laughs> we want to hold on to it. And we give him a little bit, but not all of it. He says, cast it all on him because he cares for us. Amen. Again, Philippians 4, 6 says this in the easy to read. I'm going to read it to you in the easy to read version. It says, <laughs> says, don't worry, don't be anxious about anything, but pray and ask God for everything you need. Yes. Always giving thanks. For what you have. Mm -hmm. Verse 7 says. And because you belong to Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. God's peace will stand guard over all your thoughts and feelings. Amen. His peace can do this far better than our human minds. Yes. And verse 8 says. Brothers and sisters continue to think about what is good. What is uh, and what is worthy of praise. Mm -hmm. Think about what is true and honorable and right. Yes. And pure and beautiful and respect. Mm -hmm. Still, it starts off with, don't worry, don't be anxious. You know, in these worlds, in these days nowadays, oh, everybody is anxious, mm. you know, rage. Mm. Mm. So, cast it on him. Yeah. Again, first, uh, Matthew 6, 33. Give it, you know, seek yes. him first. Before anything else, you know, hey, we all have jobs, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, Hopefully you're not sitting here thinking about when this time change really messed me up. I gotta, I gotta get my, I gotta get my schedule uh, for tomorrow, my work schedule for tomorrow. You know, I gotta plan all my work schedule for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking this, and God's here, just like Mary and Martha. You know, God's here, yeah. but you're not. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about other things, no. whatever it may be. 
Mm -hmm. No, focus on what God is saying. Man. Yeah. He might be using me or whatever the, whoever the speaker, speaker happens to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we need to focus Amen. on what God wants to say and what God wants to share and what I want to receive. Amen. He wants to bless you, but we're not allowing ourselves to be blessed because mm -hmm. we're too busy, too, too occupied. Mm -hmm. Calm yourself. Uh, those who wait upon the Lord are those who believe in Him, trust Him, have faith in Him, mm -hmm. and ho have hope and expectancy. Yes. Uh -huh. Believe in His Word, believe in His promise, Thank and believe you. in His timing. Yes. I guarantee you one thing, He'll never... He doesn't forget. Yes, yes. Correct. Amen. We think He does, <laughs> because we're thinking humanly. Mm -hmm. And we're not trusting and having faith in Him. If we give it to Him, He'll bring it to pass at his timing yeah. and when it's better for you. Yeah. Amen. And not now. Yes. And we want it now. His yeah. ability to carry them out. Wait on the Lord takes patience. <laughs> Bible teaches we should be patient with yes. one another also. <laughs> Amen. Listen to this. Church. That's <laughs> us. We're the body of Christ. We're the church. The church has become impatient, oh, boy. irate, aggravated, provoked, oh. and edgy. We've let too much of the world in. Remember, yes. we're not here to be entertained. We're the church of God. We're here to be empowered. Uh -huh. So yes. we can go out and do Amen. what God wants us to do. Amen. You know, we've got too much of the world in this. And we're here. Well, you know, I, I don't go to church anymore, you know, because they don't do what this other church does, you know. They entertain me and they sing so well and they do this and they have all these little programs. So when do they talk about Christ? When do they teach you the word of God? Yes. Let's not get, we're not here to be entertained. And don't compare that with being empowered what the word of God says and preach the word and not entertainment. Uh -huh. Amen. Woo. Oh, man. You see a little pastor, huh? Amen. <laughs> Impetuous, quickly, unthinking, reckless, and without care. We don't care. You know, just come in, do what you got to do, Pastor, so we can get out. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Impulsive, thoughtless, hasty, spontaneous. In God, in God's there is there are timings. Uh -huh. By missing these timings, we miss many things from God. Again, being too occupied, being too busy, your mind controlled. Just say, peace, be still. I'm not going to worry about tomorrow because tomorrow has enough worries about itself. We're going to focus on right now. Yeah, same here. Waiting on God should not be hard. Remember, it's His timing and His ways are different. Amen. When you leave it there, let Him do it. We've been conditioned too much by the world to be impatient. We want it now. We need it now. We don't want to wait. We can't wait. We, we don't want to put it off. Yes. We must get it now. Do it now. Got to have it now. Now. <laughs> We've also... <clears throat> In the fast and instant world of fast services, fast foods, fast cars, fast info, uh, Facebook, internet, computers, cell phones. We want it now. How, co how come God can't work this way? Yeah. <laughs> instant car, instant credit. Buy it now, pay it later. <laughs> that has ruined many. <laughs> so we, we, have to, we have to be careful. Live life to the fullest by what? Soaring high, running, and walking all over your troubles, your cares, your distractions, your temptations, your trials, and overcoming this negative world. Trust in Him. Have patience in Him. Amen. John 16, 16.33 says this, And these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you will have peace, but in the world you will have tribulations, misfortunes, trials, sufferings, troubles. But you know what? Don't let your troubles trouble you. You trouble your troubles. And I'm gonna do that with the word of God, speaking the word, confessing the word. But you gotta have it in you to speak it out. Amen. Come on now. Yep. Amen. Woo, but be of good cheer, he says, I have overcome the world. In the easy to read version, I'll read it to you. John 16, 33 says this, I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me. And the me is caps, that's Jesus. In, 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 in him we can have peace. In this world you will have troubles. But be brave. I have overcome. I have defeated the world. Yes. So can we. 
but we must have relationship with him. We must read, we must stay filled, we must speak, confess his word. And I wrote this down as I was studying. Be hearers, listeners. Uh -huh. You can hear, but you don't be listening because I, all I hear, you got to listen. Amen. Got to be doers. Man, I'm a doer. I'm a go-getter. And we got to be confessors. We got to confess the word. Speak the word. Amen. Speak it. Hearers, doers, and confessors. I'm a, I don't know if that's a word. I made it up. <laughs> Again, be patient, have faith, trust, obey, and wait on the Lord. We shall mount up with wings as eagles. We shall run and not be weary. And we shall fall and not faint. See yourself soaring with God, not scratching with chickens or eating with the pigs. Amen. This is the world's ways. Amen. That's not God's ways. That's not God's best for you. He wants to bless you. He wants to set you free. Amen. Amen. But we have to be obedient to what he says. See yourself the way God sees you. He sees you soaring. He sees you running. And he sees you walking. Press on. Be an overcomer. Be a winner. And be a champion. See yourself this way because this is the way he sees you. I chose you. I called you. I equipped you. And you can do all things through me. Through Christ who strengthens you. See? He sees you this way. And if you're not going that way, it's because you need to get it. You need yes, to catch it. Yes, yes. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. I can do all things through Christ. Okay. We're over, over we're overcoming cares. Yeah. Problems, troubles, setbacks, failures, lacks. Yes. Anything that makes you fall. Uh -huh. And people are going to remind you these things. Yeah. Satan uses people, unsafe people, mm. to, to bring these things out to you. I have family tell me these things. You know? <laughs> oh, boy. You're nobody. Mm. You're a failure. Mm. You're nothing. We're talking about family. Huh. They ain't got enemies that are going <laughs> to do worse to yes. tell you. Yes. You know, you're no good. You're not qualified. You can't do that. Mm. Mm, come on now. <laughs> yep. Amen. It's not good when people, when God's people are in bondage. If you see yourself in bondage, it's time to get out. Amen. Uh huh. I am Christian. You may call yourself a Christian, mm -hmm. but you're defeated. Mm -hmm. You're imprisoned yeah. in habits and sins. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then you need to come out. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You know, you want to see yourself a, a, a winning Christian? Start living for him. Start having relationships. Yes. Start doing, being a yes. hearer, a doer, and a confessor of the word of God. Yes. Amen. And stepping out in faith. Yeah. And don't be defeated. You know what defeated Christian is? The one that knows the word and won't speak it out. Mm -hmm. What are you good for? Mm -hmm. You're defeated. You're gonna, the world's just going to have you. It's going to run you over. With him, we win. Without him, we lose. If you're a child of God and you have the word in you, it's got to come out. Yes. Yeah. You got to speak it out. Yes. Remember, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the words you speak. And we're going to speak positive things. We're going to speak words that have life. Amen. It's not good when pe uh, God's people are in bondage, That's it. defeated, in prison, and to sin, mm -hmm. habits, letting the world have its way, mm -hmm. being world pleasers instead of God pleasers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other things, other little foxes mm -hmm. that stops us from doing, from being free and victorious in what God has called us to do. Yeah. We don't want we don't want that and, and, and it, you know you make the change yeah it's called maturing and growing in the, yeah. in the word of god maturing and going in the word of god church let go of whatever makes you stop uh -huh. if god didn't put the stop sign there oh, yeah. press on <laughs> amen That's it. he told he told lot he says i want you out of sodom and gomorrah yeah mm. he says go he says, but don't look back. Don't look back. His wife yeah. looked back and she was stopped. Some of us 
whatever the situation may be, we have some stops we got to get rid of. And you just got to give it to Him. Amen. Let go and let God with Him. All things are possible. Yes. <laughs> Waiting on the Lord requires faith, patience, hope, and expectancy. Yes. <laughs> Waiting on the Lord has hopeful results. One thing some of us are not good at <laughs> is waiting or having patience. Oh, yes. <laughs> we start pacing. We start getting impatient. We don't guard our mouth. We just start shooting words out. Words you speak are carriers of power. Amen. And that power is death or life mm -hmm. good or bad yeah and you're speaking them out you're shooting them out mm -hmm. of your mouth nobody else mm -hmm. you you're going to give an account <clears throat> amen so That's it. change the way you talk change the way you live change the way you your relationship with him is you can mm -hmm. improve your relationship you yeah. can improve all these things amen yeah. Yeah. you will reap what you sow remember the hardest thing to tame is the mouth the mouth, the tongue, oh, yes. the words you say, the words you speak. Mm -hmm. John 3 and 8 says this in the Good News Translation. No one has ever been able to tame the tongue. It is evil and uncontrollable, yeah. full of deadly poison. Oh. <laughs> Lord, help me guard my words. Put a guard on your mouth and don't speak it out. You know, I want to say it so bad. How many times do you think Jesus wanted to just <laughs> give him a piece of his mind and just blast him, you know? But he didn't. He could have called armies, you know, yes. and they could have came and demolished him. But he didn't. This is what Father wants me to do, and this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to fulfill what Father sent me to do. Amen. Give no place to the devil. If you do, listen. You can write these down. Give no place to the devil. Right. If you do, he wants to rule you. He wants to drive you and yes. guide you. And you know, he wants to guide you wrong. He wants to devour you. His mission is to steal, kill, and, and destroy, destroy you. Destroy. Amen. Because we gave in. It's time we stop it and change. Amen. Uh, and John 10, 10 says, he come that you might, uh, excuse me. He says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. So we, we, we live for him. And we're going to have life more abundantly. Church, we must get ourselves renewed. Psalms 51 and 10 says this in King James. Yeah. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew my right spirit within me. Uh, Romans 12 and 2 says this in the easy to read version. It says, don't change yourself to be like the people of this world. All right. But let God change you inside with a yeah. new way of thinking, uh -huh. renewing our mind with the Word of God. Yes. You know, hey, the battlefield is there, and you got negative thoughts all the time. You all got, <laughs> you don't know how many people I wanted to kill today. <laughs> 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 you don't know how many people I want to cuss out today. <laughs> you don't know how many people I want to just yeah. say something. Yeah. But, yeah. I thought about it. But I didn't speak it out. Yes, and I didn't do it. That's right. good. Amen. Amen. Because yeah, I renew my mind. Uh -huh. It was there for a second. Uh -huh. And I pressed delete. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone. Okay? <sighs> if you don't put action to it, if you don't uh -huh. uh, speak it out, yeah, it's gone. Yeah. So, hey, you passed through there. The battlefield was on. But guess what? Hey, <laughs> I won. <laughs> yeah. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God's once uh -huh. for you you will be able to know what is good and pleasing to him and what is perfect yes. Amen. remember last week we talked about this we limit ourselves mm -hmm. to try to be copy what the world does mm. don't be a copier amen be a child of god mm. and fulfill what god has called you to do yeah. We put limits on ourselves and we put limits on God. Yes. It's time we take the limits off. Yes. There's no limits in Him. Renew implies to restore. He wants to restore. Have a new you, a new start, a brand new you, a new life. In 2 Corinthians 5 17, it talks about you're a new creature in Christ. You look the same, but I've had a birth inside. My spirit is renewed. 
I'm a new birth. I'm a new. I had a, a spiritual uh, birth. My spirit man is new. Yes. My spirit man is now for God. Amen. And I need to stop keep thinking my spirit man is the word of God. And uh -huh. renewing my mind with the word of God. Yeah. And crucifying my flesh because my flesh still fighting. Oh yeah. <laughs> my flesh, I got to drag it. <laughs> he wants to have his own way. He wants to be, you know, still one hour behind. Still at home, you know. We're already oh, almost finished. <laughs> Amen. So anyway, uh, we're going to close there. We're not going to finish this. We're not trying to finish this. But we're waiting on Him. Yes. Those that wait upon the Lord. Yes. Put it back on. Here we go. Give it all to Him. Give all your worries and cares to God. Mm -hmm. For He cares for you. This is just plain English. Give it yes. to Him. You know what give means? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you Don't take it back. Give it to Him. First yes. Peter 5, 7. Keep going. Yeah. This is our text, and hopefully uh, we'll finish next week, but uh, Isaiah 40 and 30. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Yes. They shall run and not be weary, Amen. and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Lord. You receive it? You receive it? Yes. <laughs> Don't come up and say, what, 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 what you preach about today? <laughs> We're going to have to lay hands on them. Oh, <laughs> Father, we just thank you for your precious word, Lord. We receive it and let it just come in, Father God, and bless yes. us, Lord, and do what you call us to do, Father God, and wait patiently on you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And some of you, we won't close until you have an opportunity. Some of you yes. watching, some of you listening, Amen. this is a time where you say, you know, hey, I want to make a change right now. You know, I want to Soar up with him, you know. I want to receive him yeah. as my Lord and Savior. And you know you can, and he won't turn you down. That's right. I don't care what who so and so said, or, uh -huh. or who told you what, or what religion That's told it. you, whatever. All you have to do is confess him. Yeah. Lord, I've been in the wrong. I've sinned against you. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. And you yes. know what? He's gonna come in. You yeah. do an about face, turn around, take a step mm -hmm. back. Turn around and he's right there to embrace you. Yes, so praise yes. God. Receive him as you Lord and Savior. And start living for him. And yes. start learning his word, reading his yes. word, and go to a place where they teach the word of God. Yes. Go to a place where a, a Bible a church where they teach the Bible. Yes. Amen. And start growing and going for God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's time we do this. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, you know, he's not giving us a spirit of infirmity. He says, by Jesus' stripes, I am healed. Amen. Mm -hmm. So just touch yourself yes. and receive. Thank say, thank you, Father, that by Jesus' stripes, I am healed. Yeah. And I receive yeah. my healing right now. I accept no malfunctions in my body. Amen. Everything functioning normal according yeah. to the word of God. Amen. The way you created me, Lord. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Woo! I'm blessed. I'm blessed too. You, and giving, if you're watching or listening and you'd like to give, just uh, go to our website, nbcbigbin.com, and press that donate button there. And if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box uh, 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. God bless you. God loves you. And we love you. Amen.